Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a book haul. The first book is Dark and Deep is Red by Anne Marie Mullet. Mullet the more. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but this is <coughs> a retelling of the Red Shoes. I'm super excited. This is my first um, Anne Marie book, and I am super excited about this book so much. So it's also got a beautiful, beautiful um, emblem on there. And the side. Really beautiful. So I'm um, super excited to get to this soon. Oops. The next one is a graphic novel called The Investigators. This is a detective novel, sort of, but it's geared to uh, younger ages. Um, the art style looks bright and fun. So yeah, this one is definitely like an um, invest, you know, they're, they're detectives. So yeah. The next one I have is There Will Come a Darkness, and this one is a fantasy, and I believe this one is about, like, um, like the fall of the world or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I love this map, and I love fantasy books in general. Here's the synopsis, if you want to read it. Um, and I'm super excited to get into this one, um, as well. So, um, also beautiful red color, red dust jacket, and this spine. Um, yes. Um, of course, yeah, I have not read this yet. This is, I think, published in 2019, um, but I'm super excited to get to this one. Then we have Go With The Flow. Again, um, this is another graphic novel. Um, kind of has that red tone to it, but this is about a um, uh, four girls who start like a revulsion against like, um, not against periods, but like to have schools have enough um, respect for women and less against football but yeah you may love the back as well because they have like a what the art style would probably look like i love it so yeah um and i'm super excited to read this so really excited um first a second wait or the first second is the organization that i have loved most of their graphic novels so yeah well actually all of them but i haven't given them all like five stars so, yeah. um but really high four stars um this is um instant karma by melissa meyer um and this is about a girl who you know regains the ability to have karma on people like good good things happen to people but <laughs> yeah it's a romance if you want to read the synopsis it is here um and then this is like the blue very beautiful blue um and this is i believe a standalone um, and not a series. Um, so yes, um, I'm, I'm like so excited to read this. Um, um, but we'll, we'll see if I like it or not. I have read her Luna Chronicles, just the first one and the second one, and I love both of them. Like, oof, yes, it gave me the feels, and I love them. But I haven't read onwards and I got spoiled for I think the love interest in Chris and I was like really I don't want this guy to have a love like he is Johnny Bravo but yeah 
I don't like it too much. No. And then I also have this arc, which I bought um, um, pretty much. I, I got it this year, obviously, but because um, it's going to be um, sale 221. So this one's already out. This is the Women's History of the modern world, how radicals, rebels, and everyday women revolutionized the last 200 years by Brazilian Miles. Now this one also came out in the UK in 2020, so it's originally called Rebel Women in the United Kingdom. So this one has made its way to the US under a different name. I think it's weird that like UK um, titles have like like they just have different names as a part of US. But um, yeah, this is like a history of women, and of course, um, this is an art, so it doesn't have any color illustrations. I don't know if they're gonna have color illustrations, but they have like illustrations throughout and they go from I think from um um from the from the enlightenment to the me too hashtag me too movement. So of course um the, it starts off with like um the turning wheel and then quotes which is really fun and then it has like a couple other quotes and it has different 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 information i am so looking forward to this because i love reading about like history and um definitely a history nerd i don't think it's like a good um educational value i mean it's good to learn this stuff but i don't think like you want to do you know learn history that's fine i love learning about history so this one is really intriguing and i just love the real like pictures in it and stuff like that so that you and you can like you know um learn about the women and different things um so yeah i love nonfiction. But, um, yeah, and that is my, not TBR, I was going to say TBR, that is my book haul, because um, my TBR is just different pile, and I changed it from July, because that was Bookathon, even though I couldn't really, like, participate in it, um, I was reading, what? I was reading the Samurai Deal, and um, yes, um, but yeah, that is all the books that I have received, or for right now, because I'm doing them in sections, and so that it's not like a 20 minute video of me holding up a book and be like, I don't know what this is about. Anyway, so um, um, I hope you guys have a great day and um tell me what books that you want me to read or have read that you really liked so um so that um uh, just let me down know down in the comments that um if you've read any of these books and you love them or if you just like oh i don't really like this book or whatever um, and yeah, just tell me, um, what, or what books you want me to read, it, read also, give a like, and comment, and, um, and click the bell for notifications, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and, um, I will see you in the next video, next week, um, and I hope you have a rest of, uh, a good rest of the day and um that you have vibe good vibes and um i'll see you um 
in the next video. Bye!